I just want to do a quick demonstration of the power of du duplicating on Tinkercad. Um, you can't really see right now, but let me move my um, little screen here. Um, here is our here is our duplicate function right here, and I'll just slide this over here out of the way. So that um, notice that the the command the key command for it is. Command D. So I have this long rectangular prism here, and I want to um, create a pattern that repeats. So this might come up in some of your designs, but I just want to show you how useful this tool can be. So let's say I want to duplicate this exact object. So I'm going to highlight the object, and as it's set up there on the tab, a Command D is a way of duplicating this object. Now I want you to notice this. I'm going to come down here to this curved arrow and I'm going to select it and I'm going to turn it over to negative 10 degrees as you can see. But now the next step I'm going to do is instead of command D I'm going to go with control D. And if you no didn't notice I have a third object now that's an exact duplicate. And I'm going to continue with control D all the way through until I have the desired pattern that I want. So this is going at 10 degree increments. As you can see, this tool can be very useful for many different steps in your projects. So if I were to come here and group these, and have one solid object, right? And you don't, um, I could have obviously just made this a cylinder, a flat cylinder, but I'm just trying to show you how the command D and control D function or commands on Tinkercad are, can be very useful and really simplify your life when you're trying to do a multi-stepped process on Tinkercad. This can really simplify your life. So remember, command D and control D. Yeah.